He's Phoebe Head, who lives in Perth, making super videos for all his work. His channel is great, he's a good mate with Bella the Fell, so don't hesitate. G'day, beer lovers. It's your old mate again here. The Day Head. Today I want to talk about a story that's doing the rounds on Facebook at the moment. Yeah, I'm a big Facebooker. Yeah, I spend a bit of time on Facebook. I like to socialise with a lot of YouTubers and subscribers. Yeah, if you want to be my Facebook friend, you know, just send me a request. No problems at all, being your friend. Okay, now I've got a story. and This showed up in Facebook a couple of days ago and it's doing the rounds. And it concerns that missing Malaysian Airlines flight, MH370. Now the link to this story is in the beer box below. Okay, so if you read that, you'll see what the whole thing's all about. Okay, now this story has been uh, is about a journalist called Jim Stone. Okay, now Jim Stone is saying that one of the passengers on board the missing flight is a guy called Philip Wood. Now Philip Wood happens to be a technical storage executive at IBM. So he was on the plane. And according to Jim Stone, he keystered his iPhone 5 in his ass. Yeah? This was after the Boeing 777. Boeing 777 was hijacked along with 239 people uh, by unknown military personnel while, while it was en route to China. Okay, now Amazingly, Jim Stone, this is this journalist guy, claims that metadata, yeah, the term is metadata, within a photo that was sent by Philip Wood. So Philip Wood had this iPhone, shoved up his ass, and he was able to take a photo and send it, okay, to this guy called Jim Stone, this, this journalist. So Philip Wood um, sent this photo, and, and Jim Stone, uh, believes that, it, it, that there's a 100% confirmation that Philip Wood sent the photo along with a brief voice activated text message as well. And, and there was GPS coordinates contained within the photo which put Wood at an island called Diego Garcia which is a US military base in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Yeah, it's interesting, doesn't it? If you want to see where Diego Garcia is, I'll just put a map up, okay? So you can see Diego Garcia. Yeah, so you can sort of see yeah, it's the middle of nowhere. Now, if you want to see an up-close photo of Diego Garcia, here's an up-close up photo. So you can sort of see it's just mainly just an airstrip, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a military base, a few buildings on it. And the photo had this metadata, like I said, and it contains the GPS coordinates of where the photo was sent. And this is the building that the photo was taken from, according to the GPS coordinates. Okay. Now the photo sent from his iPhone 5 was basically a blank black picture. Really nothing else, okay, together with a voice operated text message. Now, this journalist, Stone, but speculates the picture was taken in a dark room or in some position in which Woods, were, Woods' hands must have been bound. Now, the text message that was sent by Woods read this. I have been held hostage by unknown military personnel after my flight was hijacked. I work for IBM and I have managed to hide my cell phone in my ass. You know, during the hijack. I've been separated from the rest of the passengers and I'm in a cell. My name is Philip Wood and I think I've been drugged as well and I cannot think clearly. So that was the text message that was sent as well. So it's a pretty bizarre story, isn't it? Do you believe it? I don't know. Before I take this, this story seriously, I have to do a test to see whether it is humanly possible to shove an iPhone up your ass. Okay, I need to do that experiment. Now I have a smaller iPhone 4S. Okay, it's not as big as the iPhone 5 that this wood guy shoved up his ass. I've got some personal lubricant with me. Okay, I'm just going to go off to the toilet and try and shove this up my ass. Okay, let's do it. Ah, 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 ah,
guys, I can confirm that it is physically impossible to shove this iPhone up your ass. I tried, I tried, it's bloody hard. So when I hear bizarre stories, I like to keep an open mind. But obviously, my mind isn't as open as Philip Wood's ass is. <laughs> now if they do find this guy, Philip Woods, I, get, I tell you what, I want to travel with this guy. I want to travel all the world, around the world with him. Because I reckon we'll be able to hide an extra five bottles of bourbon up his ass from Australian Customs. <laughs> uh, now if this Philip Wood is being held in some cell somewhere, you know, I wonder whether he has a, um, a phone charger hanging out of his ass as well. <laughs> Can you imagine the wire coming out? <laughs> uh, okay, I think there's only one person in the world that has the skills and intelligence to work out what happened to Malaysian Airlines MH370.